You've been using the same old transitions for way too long. It's time to upgrade your edits. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Today, I'm going to show you four mind-blowing transitions that will instantly take your videos from basic to professional. <laughs> transition number one, the slide and stretch transition. This one works great for match cuts. For example, check out these two clips of a car moving in the same direction. To start, right-click in the project panel and select new item, then select adjustment layer. Drag that adjustment layer above the two clips. Keep in mind, the length of the adjustment layer determines the duration of your transition. Next, find the transform effect and drag it onto the adjustment layer. Now go to the effect controls panel and look for the scale property. Uncheck uniform scale. This allows you to adjust the height and width separately. Make sure the playhead is at the start of the layer, then set a keyframe for scale width. Move the playhead to the end and set another keyframe. Now, move the playhead between those two keyframes and increase the scale width to create the stretch. I'm using a value of 280, but you can adjust it to your liking. Next, expand the velocity curves and ease the first and last keyframes by pulling the levers. Don't forget to uncheck Use Composition Shutter Angle and then increase the shutter angle for motion blur. That looks absolutely stunning. Transition number two, a super clean digital glitch. This works really well on dark, colorful footage like this one. First, place an adjustment layer above the clips and trim it to a few frames. Move five frames left from the center and make a cut, then delete the extra section. Now move five frames right from the center and repeat the process. Now go to the effects library and search for VR digital glitch. Drag it onto the adjustment layer. In the effect controls, make sure the playhead is at the first frame. Expand the distortion properties and set keyframes for geometry distortion X, distortion rate, distortion evolution. Move to the center of the layer and increase the distortion X value. I set it to 92, but you can choose whatever looks best. Also increase the distortion rate. Now move to the end of the layer and reset the X and distortion rate values, then increase distortion evolution to intensify the glitch. And there you go. That looks awesome. Transition number three, the advanced spin transition. For this transition, I have two clips on my timeline. Start by dragging an adjustment layer above the two clips. Then cut the adjustment layer and duplicate it by holding Alt and dragging it to the track above. Now, if you try to rotate the clip, you'll notice black edges appear. Here's how to fix that. Find the replicate effect and apply it to the first adjustment layer. In effect controls, set the replicate count to 3. Now search for the mirror effect and apply it 4 times to the same layer. You'll see 4 mirror effects appear in the controls. Adjust their values like I have to mirror the footage and eliminate any black edges. Pause the video and copy these settings. Note, this is based on a 2K sequence. Next, add the transform effect to the second adjustment layer. In effect controls, set the scale to 300 to zoom it back to the original size. Now we're ready to rotate. Move the playhead to the start, click the rotation stopwatch to set a keyframe, then move forward and set the rotation to 360 degrees. Expand the velocity curves and ease both keyframes for smoother motion. Again, uncheck Use Composition Shutter Angle and set it to 180 degrees to create natural motion blur. That's a really cool spin transition. Transition number four, the split transition. Want to transform one scene into another with style? Here's how to do it. Make sure the two clips overlap in the timeline. Select the top clip, go to Effect Controls, then an Opacity, and use the Pen tool to create a mask. In my case, I'm masking the sea from the buildings. Draw a mask around the sea area. Set the mask feather to zero. Now the C is isolated from the buildings. Next, we want the C to move downward. Move the playhead to the start, set a position keyframe, move forward, and drag the C layer downward. Then ease both keyframes under the motion property for smoother animation. Back in the timeline, hold Alt and duplicate the clip. On the top duplicated clip, go back to effect controls and invert the mask. This will isolate the buildings. Now animate the position for this layer too, but this time move it upward until it disappears. Again, ease both keyframes. And just like that, a super cool split transition. That's it for today's tutorial. If you want to continue learning, check out my video on how to create a flash transition. And don't miss my top 7 transitions video. You'll find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more awesome tutorials just like this one.